Hello, everybody. God bless each and every one of you. Today is Monday, the 3rd of August. It is um, just after lunchtime. I got done work early today, so I thought I'd do a video today. Um, I watched a, a documentary, a short documentary, about a week ago. And ever since I've watched that documentary, it's laid heavy on my heart. And I wanted to do a video about it because today... We have so much hatred and, and, and so much division in this country and so many people thinking that, uh, you know, certain people have it better than other people and, 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 and that's not true because as the Bible says, it rains on the just as well as the unjust. But this documentary was about a family in West Virginia, um, the Whitakers and their inbred and it broke my heart. And the story was basically about three brothers. One of them has died since uh, a couple years ago. But the video was recently made. Um, I want to introduce you to the Whitakers first here. I have them on my screen behind me. And then I want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, about the Bible and about this situation. Um, if you get a chance... I'm going to put a link to this documentary, which it's only about maybe 13 minutes. It's only, it's real short, but um, if you watch this, um, I believe it'll touch you like it did me, because it really struck a chord in me. This is the Whitaker brothers right here. And they are inbred. Their father married their sister, and... The one on the far, this one has passed away. But these are the Whitaker brothers. None of them can speak. None of them can speak. Uh, he's blind with one eye. Uh, he can only grunt. He couldn't speak at all. And this is this is the uh, result of of that type of of uh, situation when a brother. Uh, marries a sister or a father marries a daughter or something along them lines. This is the type of, of thing that occurs. And it really broke my heart. And I want to read a little bit out of 1 John chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. goes as follows. Um, but whoso hath this world's goods, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion for him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in the word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. We're supposed to help one another, and especially the downtrodden, the poor. These, these gentlemen did not ask for this to happen to them. They did not ask to be born this way. This was a sin that their parents committed and a pretty horrific sin, I guess you would call it. You know, sin is sin, but it is pretty horrific. Uh, but if you see the way these people live, the, I mean, poor is not even a word that I would describe. I mean, there's poor and there's what we call dirt poor, okay? They're beyond dirt poor. And ever since I saw this, it really, really tore me up inside. And I'd like to ask everybody to pray for this family. Their, their last name is Whitaker. They're from West Virginia. And I will put the link. I'll figure out how to do it. I'm not good at this stuff. But I will figure out it below the video. Uh, if you scroll down below the video, there'll be a link to this short documentary about the Whitaker brothers, and you will see what I saw, and you hopefully will be touched as I was. As Christians, as human beings, not just Christians, as human beings, we should be uh, willing to help no matter what, no matter what affiliation one might be, what color their skin, what what anything. I mean, especially as ones that's accepted Jesus Christ, especially as that, 
as a Christian, you should be willing to help. Right now, I ask everybody to pray for this family because it it, it is just, it's, it's, I don't even have a word. Sad's not even a word I can use for this for this situation. It really is um, just a terrible, terrible thing that's happened. And apparently there's more in the bloodline. There's cousins. Um, there's also a sister that is the same. She's not in this picture, but you will see her in the video or in the documentary. You will meet her. She don't speak neither, and she's got the same uh, disability handicap from from it being inbred. Um, it's it is just I just keep using the word sad because that's really the only word I can I can come up with. It's just sad, and and we're in 2020, and we still have things like this today. In 2020. I mean this. This is. Shouldn't be. This should not be. In 2020. It should not be. It should not be. But. Man has got a sinful nature about them. And. The world is wicked. As we see. And incest. And, and inbreeding is part of that. You know, that we know the Bible talks about abominations. We know the Bible talks about perversions, about brothers with sisters. We see this. We know what the Lord says about this. But the sad part about what people don't know is there's a lot more around this world that's like this. There is more than you could even imagine. Even in America, there's more. The thing is, you just don't hear about it. It's not spoken about. It's one of those things that's hushed. It's kept quiet, okay? I mean, this is just something people don't talk about. But this, the, the really terrible thing about it is, is they have to suffer. They're the ones that have to suffer from that. They're the ones that have to suffer. Pray for this family, please. I will put the link down below. God bless you. I know this is different than my normal video, but just pray for them. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.